Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing my cash and stuffing video for March and this is where I do take money out from my envelopes to pay off my bills and just to pay myself back from the spending that I did throughout the month. I do use my debit card and my credit card um, throughout the month to make any purchases so I'm just going to be taking out some of the money from those sinking funds and also money from my bills so that's exactly what we're gonna do today so this is my notebook here where I wrote everything that I'm gonna be taking money from so I'm just gonna um, set this to the side right here and we will go ahead and do my cash and stuffing all right you guys so let's go ahead and start off with my bills binder so here's my bills binder and I'm gonna be taking money out from um, all of my bills here. So phone bill has 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. So I'm going to take this money out. And I will just check this off. Okay. Uh, moving on to health insurance. Health insurance has 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 10, and 20. I'm going to be taking all of this money out. Because that's how much I pay for my health insurance. Um, next we have rent. And for that I'm going to be taking out $500. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, and 500. So I'm going to be taking all of this money out. Let me check this off. Um... After that, I have my grandma's envelope, and for her, I'm going to be taking out $45, so 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, and 45, and she's just going to stay with a $5 bill, and that 5 is going to roll over for next month. If you're new here, I do send money to my grandma every month, um, and the same thing happens for my dog here. So I'm going to be taking out $45 for him as well. So 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, and 45. So I'm going to keep a 5 for next month. Okay, and let me check this off. And last envelope here will be for invest. I did already invest the money. I just have to pay myself back with this. So I'm going to be taking out $160, so 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, and 160. So since this is 20, I'm going to exchange that for a $20 bill. So that's how much is staying in my envelope, okay? So I'm just going to keep the 50s here in the back just for now. And then... Let me check this off and that is it for my bills very quick guys i want to thank you guys so much for 5,000 subscribers i i'm just mind blown right now you guys i have no words to describe how grateful i am thank you guys so much for sticking with me watching my videos you know I know some of you have been throughout like my entire journey so thank you guys so much for all your support i really appreciate you guys so so much thank you guys for that i just i, I just can't believe that we have made it to 5,000 subscribers and this is just so amazing guys thank you guys so much um so we are done with my bills binder now let's go ahead and um do my my um my other envelopes here so starting off with let's see mm. so parents so i actually bought my dad last month i bought him a shirt but he was the one that chose it but he chose the wrong size um, so he went to the store and exchanged it for another, um, for another shirt 
and the difference was like two dollars and sixty two cents so I am I am making every dollar count you guys so I'm going to take out three dollars from here so I'm gonna put this down and I'm gonna add two dollars back to my parents envelope okay um, yep I just have to pay myself back you guys so that's what I'm doing so let me check this off and after that I'm going to go ahead and move on to clothes okay so here's what happened I actually bought only like a shirt okay that was like six dollars but um, everything else is like hangers that I had to buy for my clothes I also bought like some like storage boxes to put my clothes in there and I bought a mirror and a curtain so it made the most sense for me to take it out from this envelope so that's what I'm going to do today let me go ahead and um, add all of these numbers so 6 plus 576 plus 684 plus 1862 that's a total of $37.22 so I'm going to exchange this I'm going to put um, two dollars back okay because I took 38 so two dollars is coming back here for clothes and let me just check all of this up and um, after that I'm going to go ahead and move on to my gifts envelope this envelope is going to get depleted you guys so my mom actually went to Peru uh, for like 10 days to celebrate my other grandma's birthday so she took my two younger brothers with her and I gave them each ten dollars just like for them to have like to eat anything in the airport you know that's all I could afford at the moment so I gave them ten dollars each so that's what I sell that's what this says in here like sell mom for my brothers that was twenty dollars um, for each it was 10 so that's 20 and then um, for my grandma's birthday she's my other uh, grandma so I told my mom to give her $40 so yeah I gave my mom $40 for that for her birthday for my grandmother's birthday um, and then my one of my friends birthday was um, just passed recently so for her birthday I spent $30 so that all um, came out to be $90 and that's exactly how much I have in here um, so let's go ahead and count it I have 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89 and 90 so I'm gonna be taking all of this money out um, yeah everything so let me check this up okay um and what else okay that is actually it for for this binder and let's go ahead and move on to the last binder here i actually forgot to tell you guys that after doing my cash and stuffing i'm going to do my bill exchange all together in this video so just stick around guys um so for oh what am i doing i'm not doing taxes i'm going all the way to supplies okay so for my supplies, um, I didn't spend much this month because last month I did buy a lot of materials um, because I needed them but I still have some. So everything that I spent this month was $101.44. So that should be a total of 102 So let's go ahead and count how much we have here. I have 20, 40, 60, 81. So that's 100 and then two dollars so i'm gonna put this five down okay and i'm gonna put three dollars back okay and this should be a hundred so one two three four five that should be a hundred dollars so this is how much we have left um, and I forgot to write it here guys, but I did buy a scotch tape. Oh, ooh, 
Okay, I did buy a scotch tape that was like $2. So I gotta take that money out from here as well. All right, for shipping. Okay, um, so that is actually it for my cash and stuffing portion. So let's go ahead, oh actually, I'm all over the place, you guys. We're gonna start my bill exchange from this binder. So let me just move this um, on the side for now. So this right here, you guys, is uh, for me to know how much money I'm going to be replacing for prop money for this category. So I only have like four categories. So for Etsy taxes, looks like I'm going to be replacing $600 for prop money. So let me go ahead and count here. So I have 100, 200, 300, 400. So 400, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 50. Here, that should be $600. So let me put all of this down. And... Okay, so I'm gonna put a $500 placeholder and I also need a $100 um, placeholder here so for this I'm going to be replacing for um, a $1,000 slip okay so one two three four okay and let's go ahead and exchange this so let's see one, two, three, four, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Okay. So that's going to be a twenty and a ten for thirty. Okay. So let me check this out. And Etsy taxes has one thousand, one hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, twenty, thirty, and thirty-five. So $1,435 and the reason why I replaced this with prop money is because I am going to deposit $600 into my high yield savings account for my taxes so that way the money gains interest instead of being in my envelope and yeah that's how I decide to do this. So for YouTube taxes, I'm going to be replacing just $100 from here so let me go ahead and bring my $100 dollar um, slip okay so here it is and let me just put this hundred dollars down because that needs to get deposited so let's see what we can exchange here we have um, 10 15 16 17 18 19 20 so we can exchange these for a 20 dollar bill and for youtube taxes i have 100 200 300 and 20. Okay, um, let's see here, for supplies, let's go ahead and exchange some of this money. So I have 10, 20, 30, and 40. So I'm gonna exchange this for two 20s. So I have 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, and 48 dollars remaining for supplies. For shipping, let's go ahead and exchange some of this money as well. So let's see, we have 10, 20, and so 20, 40, and 50. So we can exchange these for a $50 bill. Okay, so, so shipping has 50, 55, 56, 57, and 58 dollars left. Let's see, P.O. Box has a lot that we have to exchange here. So let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 20, 25 and 30 so we can do a 20 and a 10 
Okay. And um, let me just exchange this one for a nicer one. Okay, so P.O. Box has 50, 70, 80, 81, 82, and 83 dollars. Alright, so moving on to my emergency fund, um, we have 20, 40, 60, 81, so that's 100, let me just put this down, and take 100, and then we have 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, and 50, so let's exchange these for a $50 bill. Okay, and these 50s, I'm going to exchange for $100 bill. So, emergency fund has one, two, three, and $400. That's so awesome. Okay, $1 challenge, we're not doing anything with it. And for my 52-week savings challenge, let's see here. We have 20, 40, 60, 81. So, that's 100 And then, uh, let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 40, and 50. So let's go ahead and exchange this for a 50. Yep. And then we can take these two 50s and exchange it for a $100 bill. And 52 week savings challenge has 100, 200, 300, 400, and 5. So 405 in there. Okay, and that is actually it for this binder, guys. Feels so much lighter, guys. Um, so yeah, that's exciting. Let's go ahead and move on to my clear binder here. So starting off with my savings, looks like I'm going to be taking out $100 from here and replacing it with another prop, $100. So let's see, we have 20, 40, 60, 81. So this is going back to the bank, okay, for my savings. And then I'm going to be replacing it with a $100 prop money. And this is one, two, three, four, five, six hundred dollars. So let's let me go ahead and keep these and I'm just gonna put this down. So in total for savings I have six hundred dollars. Okay. So let's see for month ahead, let's see what we can exchange here. Look at my binder guys, it's really thick. So I'm looking forward to seeing it um, really light after this bill exchange. So let's see, we have, um, I'm gonna keep this here on the side. I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, and 47. So $147, I'm going to keep two 20s. And yeah, so 47. So this should be $100. So 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, and 100. All right. Okay, so month ahead has 100, 220, 40, 45, 46, and 47. So much lighter. Moving on to my car. Oh my god, look at this, you guys. This is a lot <laughs> that we will exchange. So I'm very excited for that. Um, so let's see. We have... 20, 40, 60, 81. Okay, so this is 100. And then 20, 40, 60, 81. So that's another 100. So let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. And let me do this 50 here. And this is another 100. Did I add the 100? I don't think so. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. I don't think so. Okay. And then, let's see here. I have 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 66, and 67. Looks like I'm going to take the $50 back from here. And let's see how much we have in here. Okay, so it looks like I did put this money back in here. I don't know why I did that, but I put it back. So looks like I did something wrong. Maybe I did add um, an extra $100 in here. Oh my God, this was so hard to do. Um... <laughs> So let's see, 1,000, 2,000, 500, 600, 700, 800, 850, 860, 865, 66, and 67. Okay, this sounds about right. $2,867. Yep, that is right. All right. That was so hard to do. I don't know why I messed up on that, but I guess it happens. So now for moving... I'm going to be taking $500 back to the bank. So let's see, we have 5, 10, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 50, 200, 300, 400, 500. So I'm going to take this back to the bank. So I have 1, 2, 3, 50, 4, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, and 500. So all of this money is going back to my high yield savings account for my moving. And then I'm going to add a $500 placeholder. And then I'm going to take these two down and exchange these for a $1,000 placeholder. All right. I hope that makes sense. Let me actually take this up and move this up in here. Okay. So, let's see, moving has 1,000, 2,000, 100, 250. So let me just go ahead and make sure that's correct. All right, so that is correct. So it looks like we didn't mess up on this. So let me just put this on the side because we're not gonna use that anymore. And for parents, let's see, we have 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90. 95, 96, and 97. So I'm going to exchange this for a 40. So 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, and 40. So here we have 40. And then we still have $97 for parents. Let's see. Joel has 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. So I'm just going to exchange this for a $20 bill. And he still has 30 in here. And then for my envelope, I have 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So I'm just going to exchange this for a 10. And I still have $35 in my envelope. Um, for health, let's see, I have, I think I did already reach $200 in here. So let's see, 50, 70, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, and 100. So yes, we did reach another 100 for health. So health now has $200. For clothes, we have 
one, two, three, four, five, and ten. I think this is all we can exchange for a ten dollar bill. And we have ten, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen dollars. And gift is empty, and the last envelope here will be for Christmas. So let's see, we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 50. So I think that's all we're gonna exchange. So 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, and 50. For a $50 bill. And Christmas has 100, 150, 170, and 180. And that is correct. So that feels so much better, you guys. Um, feels so much better. It's not that heavy anymore. And it is ready for my next month cash stuffing. So I'm very excited for that. So that is it, you guys, for my cash and stuffing and bill exchange. But now, let's see if I am able to count all of this money. Looks like it's going to be very hard. Um, especially because all of the ones in here. Um, so let me actually put this in here. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and count this money. <laughs> it's going to be... A little challenging but I think we can do this so let's see we have 100 200 300 350 400 450 500 550 and 600 and 20 40 60 87 20 40 60 88 20, 40, 60, 89, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1,000, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so that's 1,000, and then 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, so 500, and then 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, so 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, so that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so 700, and then 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so I still need another 100. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, and 100. So that is $2,000, guys. So since I don't have um, that much space now, I'm just going to put it all together. Okay, so let me see. Sorry guys if this is a little messy than my other videos, but not all the videos come um, perfectly. So I have two, I mean $2,000 and then let's go ahead and count this. So Oops, that's too much. All right. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, and 100. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, and 200. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 300. And then 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. 
56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. So 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80. 81, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90. 91, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 100. So here we have um, $400. I have no space. Okay, I'm just going to keep it here. So $400, and then I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and 35. So, $2,435. So 2,000, let me actually write it, $2,435 is what we have here and I'm just going to figure it out if that's the right amount that I should have if I didn't mess up with my bill exchange because I was messing up with my um, car envelope I think it was but I hope it is not messed up. So that is it you guys for my bill exchange and my cash and stuffing video um it is a really long video you guys but last time you guys told me that you guys don't mind that i do my cash and stuffing plus my bill exchange together so here it is um i i heard you guys and yeah um i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video thank you guys so much again for 5,000 subscribers it means so much to me you guys thank you guys so so much and I'll be seeing you guys in my next video. So I love you guys so much and take care. Bye.